surrounding Shea West Garden Center in West Fargo. This week, the owner announced she'll soon be closing her doors for good after years of fighting with the city. We heard from the owner yesterday. Today, we're hearing from city leaders who say they're surprised the owner is closing shop. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie has more. Owner Jody Callis told us yesterday she's crushed. Her business is up for sale and she blames the city. Shea West has been going back and forth with the city now for four years regarding traffic and access to the building. It all came to a head during Tuesday night's commission meeting where city leaders addressed several concerns. They wanted violations taken care of before they did anything else. Instead, Callis announced she's closing her doors. The city says if she sells, they are not looking to buy the lot. As far as I'm concerned, I have not, I'm not aware of any city official engaging in any conversation regarding the interest of acquiring that property. There is no plan to acquire the property there. From my point of view, there is no need for the city to have that property. City officials add the cease and desist order for Callis to stop holding events does not exist. However, she told us upcoming events are set to be canceled. As Courtney Lockie reporting, the lot is officially up for sale. She's currently looking for any potential buyers. Happening now, people are gathering at Goose.